transition from off-season program day one of spring. You had to like the enthusiasm you saw. Without question, Robert. That's as good a first day in spring. Uh, you know, they, we, we talk about competing all the time. You know, we need to learn to, to take care of one another. You know, it's a water football team. But for the first day, you can't help but enjoy the the, the, the guys were ready and, and they were excited about it. We we're looking forward to the challenge. And, you know, it's the first day and we don't have pads on. But, but you know, you try to teach them how to practice that the way the pros do. But, uh, yeah, without question, it's exciting as heck. Now, we'll go look at the tape in 15 minutes. I'll let you know later then. So, so Bailey says he wants to go 100 miles an hour. What we saw today was like 60 miles an hour. We, yeah, and I got after him. Told that's your fault. You're the coach, you know. But no, he, he's used to going real fast, and you know, we, they, they, it's a little different from what from uh, not, not not different in the sense the play calls and all that, but difference in where he wants them aligned and how he wants them to align and that kind of thing. They'll learn. They'll learn. Not as chaotic on defense, but kids were in position to make plays. They were, and boy, they got after it. And that's what you love about uh, Tom and what he does. You know, he looks like he's blitzing and this guy's free, but he's playing zone behind. He's doing some nice things. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm really excited about both Don and Tom and Don. Forget about the schedule. I'm sensing you're like, let's get to August. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're ready to go. I don't care about the schedule. I mean, the schedule is the schedule. We're going to play, and we, te we tell our players all the time who we play, where we play, what time. It doesn't matter. We're going to go play. We're going to represent who we are. We're going to do the best we can. And then at the end of the day, if we've given every ounce of energy, whatever happens, happens. That's, that's what the athletics is all about. What are your early impressions and how the offensive unit is grasping the, the speed concept? Well, like I said, uh, Don averaged 82 plays a year last year. We averaged 76. So that's just six more plays a game. So we're used to going fast. He wants to go that much faster. And we will. We'll get there. Where would you gauge the readiness level for this spring day? I mean, for this year as compared to season. Oh, this is this this spring. Even my son was out here. He said that he remembers the first spring when we all were wondering what, what, why we did we take the you know now. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this has been a great spring. Great start to the to the spring ball. Do you think pushing the start date back a little bit has helped that where you guys can get coordinated? Well, we've always, you know, there, there, there's rules that they allow us to do when we, how much we can lift, how much we have time off. You know, there's a lot of talk and teams are doing it. We thought, thought about it is to go early, which gives them more time at the end to get better. And then going early may help injury-wise. But we, we decided to do what we're doing so Gary can have eight weeks. After spring, Gary will have another eight weeks, and then we'll see where we are. Well, not looking just today, but outlook of the spring. What do you want to see mostly from the quarterbacks? Well, from the quarterbacks? Yeah. Decision-making. The decision-making, and, and they were doing a nice job today. The little, you know, the ball the ball's very erratic, but that, you know, everything picks up with tempo now. Early impressions with Max. Yeah, I, Max is Max. I've known that young man forever. He's going to be a good, awfully good football player. But he can't, I tell you what, he can't get involved not taking a step back either. And that's what's fun about this spring is that we finally get to compete a little bit. You have four new coaches on staff, and just assess how they're going to deal with the team, what they've really They already have. They already have. They, I, I, we've done a, Abe and, and Jake Cookus and the two coordinators, we've done a great job, you know, because when we hired, we said, you know, you have to integrate yourself. They, they don't need to come to you, and, and they've done it terrific. They're veteran coaches. They understand. They get it, and uh, they want to win, too. Which of the returners have you felt is most ready today, most improved from the offseason to now? Which of the returners? I gotta go look at the tape. We go so fast. Don wants to go so fast. We don't get to judge that. But I thought he kind of played off the well today. This is your first real good look. You like what you see? I like what I see. We gotta be a little more attention to detail, but I like the tempo. I like the effort, and uh, I think the quarterbacks made good decisions. So we gotta, you know, we gotta uh, continue to get better every day. The enthusiasm from the off-season conditioning program the day one of spring practice. Did it carry over? Yeah, I think uh, Coach Beamer did a great job in the off season getting these guys ready. And uh, um, I think they're just ready to play football. Are you ready for them to be ready? Yeah, I, I think, again, it's a learning process. We want them to incrementally get better. It's a process every single day. Enjoy the process. That's what we continue to talk to them about. And we want to improve every single day. So you weren't kidding when you first got here. You want to go 100 miles an hour, don't you? I want to go fast, yeah. You, I think you got a, a, a look at that um, in terms of trying to put pressure on the defense, and we want to be offensive in terms of attack offense. You say they want to go 100 miles an hour. What rate do you think they're going at right now? Uh, about 60. Really? 60 today? Yeah. It w wasn't as fast as all, at all. We, we'll get more efficient. They'll learn how to do things a little bit more efficiently in terms of when the next play is coming in, where should I be? 
that type of stuff, situationally and that, and then we have some other things that we, we do to go faster. You know what you want to do right. coming in here. Right. Did you see enough on day one to figure out we're going to be able to do this? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I was really impressed with the knowledge the kids had. We had very limited assignment mistakes for the first day of practice with this system, and we got a lot of stuff in right now. And uh, from a mental standpoint, it was good. Uh, we got to learn to, you know, the effort part's got to get a little bit better, but that's just coaching. And then the kids meeting our expectations. But kids being in position to make plays all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. It would have been fun if we'd had pads on. You know, I know you back off a little bit because you don't have pads on, so you're not going to get that contact. But uh, I felt like we were in position, and, and I thought we had chances of maybe four more turnovers. And that's the thing we got to do is we got to create turnovers. Day one, how are you feeling? Shoot, I'm feeling good. Um, I feel uh, confident about our our whole team overall. Um, I feel everybody busted their butt out there and stuff. You know, I mean, of course we're trying to learn a, you know new schemes and stuff, but overall I feel it was a good day. New defensive coordinator. It seems like you're going to show one thing, do another thing, but people are going to be in the right position to yeah. make plays. It's got to be exciting. Oh, it's definitely exciting, you know, uh, especially, you know, we're giving the d offense uh, different looks everywhere, you know, don't even know uh, who's coming, who's not, and stuff, you know, dropping into zone, you know, and stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely going to be fun this year. How much are you in Mason's ear saying, because he's a blitz happy guy? How much are you in his ear saying, make me the blitz happy guy? <laughs> I mean, wherever Coach Mason wants me to go, I know I have trust that he's going to put me in the right spot. And um, I mean, if he wants me to blitz, I'm going to run full speed, you know, do whatever I can. Forget about the offseason conditioning stuff. <laughs> right. It's football today. Yes. How does it feel? I feel a little burnt um, on my skin, at least. But uh, <laughs> everything else, I feel OK. Um, you know, it's, a, it's definitely a different tempo and a different pace out there. Um, but it felt good. It felt really good. You haven't played for a while. No. You can't tell. <laughs> what what have you been doing? What's the secret? Um, I think it's like riding a bike. Um, you know, the the opportunity just to be able to, you know, as soon as I got off my mission to be able to come back and get right into it was was definitely a difference maker. Um, so that was good. You like the energizer, energizer bunny. Like you don't stop. <laughs> Is that just the way you are growing up? Is that the way you played? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was go, go, go. Um, there's no point in taking a playoff. You know, if, if I'm individually accountable for my responsibility, then, then I got to make sure I got to do what I got to do, and that's going 100 miles an hour at all times. You know it's a rare trait, right? Absolutely. It, it can get infectious if everybody else can catch on. That's, that's the plan. You're not fooling around. You came to play this season, didn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm here to play football, and, and I think that's what everyone else is here to do, and, and that's what's going to set us up for, for what's coming up in the season.